Welcome back, Santa Cruda. You're watching The Real Estate Beat with Gene Bleeker and Linda Richardson. We are committed, absolutely committed to keeping you in the real estate know, and we've got the best real estate guest to guarantee it. Linda, who's up next? We've got Brian Enns from Realty Executives with us. The Big B. How are you? The Big B. How are you, Brian? I am doing fantastic. All Good right. to be back. Before we even begin, how long have you been doing real estate? Uh, over 10 years now. Okay. I knew you win, right? Yeah. Yeah. I uh, knew you win. Yeah, it was a long time. Yeah. Long time. You look good. You help, you help coach me. <laughs> you look good. I'm getting older. <laughs> I don't think you've changed. I haven't changed, except I'm getting older. <laughs> so what topic did you pick for the man today? Well, we want to talk a little bit about rent versus buying. Ooh, the age-old question. The age-old huh? question. Tell us the advantages of buying versus you, renting. You know, we actually put together some, some, just some raw numbers and some raw data. So I have my little cheat sheet here because there's too many numbers for me. <laughs> so what we did is we put together a standard $500,000 home. We wanted to make it simple. You know, simple. Uh, a $500,000 home would rent for roughly uh, $2,800 a month, give or take. Okay, it depends on the neighborhood, but that's a good rough number that's going to be very close either way. Right, that makes sense. So um, the, the, the monthly payment, so look at now, I'll just grab them. The monthly payment is going to be $2,800 if you're renting. If you're purchasing it with a standard 10% down, 4.35 interest rate, and assuming the average tax bracket of roughly 25%, 30%, with your principal, interest, and insurance, mm -hmm. your monthly payment is going to be what? $2,819. So you have $2,800 and then $2,819. It's pretty close right off right. the bat, right? Right. And I'm not, I'm not trying to make it sound, you know, a lot of people will give you the monthly payments without uh, just the principal and interest, you know, there's, you know, there's taxes and all that right. other good stuff. So this, that's everything out the door. Then you include the, uh, the tax savings of $36,000, which is going to be your tax write-off. Right. And uh, so for five years in rent, for a $500,000 home, you're spending roughly $143,000. I know that's a lot of numbers, but we'll kind of round them off a little bit. $143,000. To purchase, it's going to be $169,000, right? After the tax write-off, your net payment over those five years is $2,800. It's still the same for rent, but it's $2,206 for purchasing. That's amazing. Wow. Those are raw numbers. That's, yeah. that's, not, yeah. that's not exaggerating. That, that, that is what it is. I wish I had my abacus here to verify it, but, <laughs> but I do not. Where's your calculator, Jane? I, I wish I knew how to work it. <laughs> Well, tell me a, a little bit about first-time home buyers. There's some advantage to them. Now, they're used to maybe paying, you know, $1,800, $1,500 a month, but they can still get into to homes as well and have that tax saving and advantage with oh. FHA and 3.5% down. Yeah, and yeah, and, and I just did a standard 10% down. I didn't want to go conventional because most people who are renting aren't really, they're not really able to put down 20% right, right off the bat. Um, so I wanted to just do nice, even 10%. I mean, by the time you're renting a home that's going to be roughly three grand a month for a nice home for yeah. your family, you're, you're going to have, you know, first months, last months, deposit. I mean, you're putting down pretty much almost a down payment yeah. right then, you know. I mean, it just, it, and, and I know there's a lot of different other situations where the people may not know where they want to live or they may be able to be transferred and, and you know, and I didn't want to go into whether the market's going to go up or down because well, that's, I wanted to go over specifics that are accurate data. Well, as opposed to Well, would they still have that opinion. same advantage? Let's say the prices are going up. Yeah, I mean, with, with, with these kind of savings, with these kind of savings, even if the market goes down a little right. bit, uh, then, then yeah, you can see it very clearly. Right. Yeah. Make, makes a big difference. Yeah. Well, um, what happens if prices start going up as far as borrowers qualifying for a property? That's a good question. Uh, what I did is I, um, I did used the same numbers. I wanted to make it very simple because I know on TV, without having a graph and the numbers in front of you, mm -hmm. it may be a little difficult. But I went up to $600,000. I wanted to see at what point would the scale start to skew the other way. And it's the net, sa the net savings is still um, the same numbers. It's $3,100 a month for renting about a $600,000 house. Mm -hmm. And it's $2,645 is your net payment. Wow. I understand that you've got some listings you'd like to tell us about. I think he's got the big listing, right? A big yeah. listing. A big listing. You know, I, I don't want to go over what's, all, what's already on the market, you know, but there's, there's one in particular that's coming on the market in a couple of days, three to four days. It's uh, in the Canyon Gate community. It's a gated community off of uh, Golden Valley over close to Fair Oaks Ranch in Canyon Country. And that's a gorgeous home built in 2004, I believe. And a gated community, uh, five bedrooms, 2,500 square feet. Wow. On the view side, absolutely gorgeous. 
Um, and it's going to be listed at about 510, 515. We haven't, we're, not, we're, not, we're not sure exactly. But I mean, granite everywhere. And even the laundry room has granite. Everybody loves that, right? Great price, great price. <laughs> exactly. Do you have any final thoughts, Mr. Brian? You know, first, I, before I, I, it's in the back of my head, I wanted to say happy birthday to my son. Today is my son's sixth birthday, so I want to say happy birthday to him. And we didn't bring the cake. Yeah, I know, I know. It's, <laughs> I should have brought it with me, right? He probably would have talked better than I would. <laughs> we always do. Keep the talent happy. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, do you want to say happy birthday? Look at Cameron, yeah, 42. Cam happy birthday, Aiden. All right, Brian, thank you for being on the show. No problem. Thank you for having me, guys. Oh, you're welcome. I think we're going to have to take another I break. I think we will. All right, we so we're going to take one more short break. We've got another real estate celebrity coming on. Santa Cruz, lots happening in real estate, and I know you don't want to miss a beat.